It's time to go to film school with our good friend Joe Fortunato, who will be joining us each and every Friday at this time on WAKR. It's not going to be movie reviews, but it's going to be fun stuff as Joe will take us to film school, behind the scenes stories and really interesting tidbits and such pertaining to some of the greatest movies of all time. And, of course, Joe is a film study professor. He teaches film study. And him and I got together because I love his visits with us on the show. And I said, hey, do you have time? Would you be interested in joining us? And he said, yes, I'll make time. So, Joe, welcome to the show, my friend. Thanks, Ray. I couldn't be more excited about this. Yeah, uh, me as well. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I've enjoyed the timely visits in the past, but now we'll have a chance to do this each and every week. So today, let's talk about it. You wanted to start with one of the greatest movies of all time. You go back to the early 1940s with this one, and I know it's one of your all-time favorites, and that's Casablanca. That's right, Ray. And uh, the late, great film critic Roger Ebert <clears throat> once called Casablanca the film that everybody loves, even people who don't like black and white movies, even people who don't like old movies. Um, that's a lot of pressure to put on a film, and, and I, I uh, certainly challenge uh, any of our listeners who haven't seen the film to go watch it and hope they feel the same. But it is a great film, and it's really a triumph of the classic Hollywood studio system um, because, by all accounts, this is a film that really shouldn't have worked because... The screenplay was sort of scrapped together by three or four different writing entities, um, and there, there was it wasn't even finished when they started shooting. Um, the the uh, it didn't have a lot of buzz going into it at first, but here what emerged nonetheless was an all time classic film. It did win the best picture uh, Oscar for that year, actually 1943. It was released in 1942. And the, the, the interesting part about this is, for those who know Casablanca, uh, it's the story of Rick and his cafe in, in Casablanca, and the people are trying to, uh, from all over Europe, are trying to escape uh, the Nazi uh, invasion to their various countries. And they go through Casablanca to try and get the plane to Lisbon to then take it to the United States for safety. Well, so there is a political angle to this story, that's pretty significant, and even more so, would have been more so significant in the 40s when, when this film was released. Um, what's interesting about that is that the film itself was based on a play, uh, an unproduced play, actually, and that play came into the Warner Brothers story department for a review the day after Pearl Harbor. So it was very fortuitous that, the you know, that Hollywood wasn't really making war films that much at that point in time. But then, of course, Pearl Harbor came and changed all that, and the next day, Casablanca comes into their possession, and they give it the green light to go ahead. Joe, they pushed this movie quickly through, too, because, as you mentioned, the time setting of the early 1940s, they wanted it to be timely with the Allied invasion into northern Africa. So once this thing got going, they really pushed it through quickly. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, of course, films, this is another advantageous part of the classic studio era, is that films were cranked through pretty quickly anyway. But uh, this one was certainly one of those examples. And um, <clears throat> like I said, it sort of got greenlit very much at the end of 1941, and it was uh, rushed into theaters, as you said, to capitalize on the uh, Allied invasion of Casablanca in November of 1942. So, you know, a year later, it's in theaters. It didn't go wide release until um, January of 43. But, yeah, it was, it was uh, in studio uh, or in theaters uh, relatively quickly. And the, the credit really goes to producer Hal B. Wallace. Um, and that's particularly true in the studio system, that the producer would, uh, would be uh, credited with a lot of the, the, the putting of the, or, or, or putting the film all together. And that's true in the studio system where they would have contract actors and contract crew members and, and contract directors and so on and so forth. Michael Curtiz is the director of the film, and he did a great job. He won an Oscar for it. Um, but it's really Halby Wallace that gets the credit. The irony of that is... 
when the film won the Oscar for Best Picture, it's usually the producer that goes up and accepts that award. Well, when Casablanca was announced at the Academy Awards that year, uh, studio head Jack Warner rushed up to the podium to accept the Oscar and beat out Halby Wallace <laughs> before he got up to the podium. <laughs> Halby Wallace was incensed by this and quit Warner Brothers shortly thereafter. Wow, that's kind of a cool tidbit. Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, really the stars of the movie. Peter Lorre, of course, is in it as the is the piano player. And, of course, the old adage is, of all the gin joints in the bar she had to come into, she had to come into mine, right? Everybody says that. But Humphrey Bogart, Bogart didn't actually say that, did he? He never says, <laughs> uh, play it again, Sam. That's no what it is. He never says, play it again, Sam. Uh, and Sam was played by Dooley Wilson. He was the piano player. Uh, oh, okay. And, and, and another fun fact, he could not play the piano in real life. So all that <laughs> being say, he was, he was actually a drummer. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the, 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 fame, the most famous line from the movie <laughs> is play it again, Sam. It was never actually in the movie. Um, what's pretty cool, though, is that the screenplay uh, for Casablanca, which also won an Academy Award, was voted the number one screenplay by the Writers Guild a number of years ago. And they had a list of the 100 greatest film lines. Casablanca had six lines in that list, which was far more than any other film. So it's really a script that crackles. And I said it was kind of put together by a number of writers, but most of the credit goes to twins. Um, first, and, and they won an Oscar for that, as I said, uh, Julius and Philip Epstein, who really made, write some brilliant dialogue. We've gone to film school, film study with Joe Fortunato. Joe, where do you rank Casablanca on your all-time listed movies? Um, you know, we had this discussion before, yeah. and my my rankings kind of kind of shift depending on mood and stuff. Casablanca is actually listed as number three on the AFI 100 list of all time, and I think that's about right. Uh, the number one is Citizen Kane, and uh, Godfather is number two. Casablanca comes in at number three. I think that's about right. We've gone to film school today with my good friend Joe Fortunato. You'll be able to go back and listen to it again, WAKR.net. And Joe will be joining us each and every Friday at this time as he'll take us to film school. My friend Joe Fortunato, thanks for the visit, my friend. We'll catch back up with you next Friday. Thanks, Thanks, Joe. Thanks so much, Ray. You got it. Joe Fortunato with us this morning as we went to film school on WAKR.